Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm gonna redo that, I'm sorry. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Jamila Got The Juice. I got distracted because my face is beat. If you want to know how to do this look, by the way, it should be on my Instagram by the time this comes out. So check the link in the bio and it's down there somewhere. Today I'm here with you to tell you a story time. So let's get into the video. My nails aren't done. Ew, scary. <laughs> Y'all scary! So I was going back to uni in like a week or so. So... I rang up my god sister, Abigail, shout out you. Abigail, she's done so much for me. If I tell you about this girl, she's done so much for me. She's helped me so much with my YouTube and stuff like, and I just love her so much. So we said, like, we planned to go out, like, on a night out, you know what I'm saying? Just like where, just like in South London, where we're both from. So I was, like, super excited, like, yeah, getting ready. I'm saying, yeah, I'm going to get waved today. Yeah, 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 yeah. More, more, more. Oh, mm. You should make it want to bang. Like, you should be like... So... <laughs> I get ready. I've got my cute um, bob wig on. Which is a very important part of the story. The bob wig is a very important, crucial part of the story. Let's just make that very, very clear. Okay? So... I got my bob wig on, super cute. I had it like wavy, like to the side a bit, you know what I'm saying? Period. <laughs> Period. I had my wig glued to the side a bit. And then I had just like a cute beat on, neutral eye, all of that jazz. So I basically had that on. I had like this black top on, real cute green pants. I was looking fly. Period. So now. I get to Abigail's house and we're planning on like pre-drinking. We go to the um shop. Now me, I'm thinking, yeah, I want to stay on a nice wave, like, but I want us to get something that we can like back. So I'm saying, yeah, vodka. Of all vodkas I get, I get Glenn's. Gingy sauce is Lord. Now, if you have ever drunk any alcohol before, and if there's any young people watching this year that haven't drunk before or just started drinking, don't be drinking no Glens because it tastes like acid. Absolute acid. It's not cute. I'll tell you that for free. It's not cute, okay? It tastes like absolute acid. It's doing the most. Like, it's doing the most. So I was like, you know what? Let me just get this because I know that I'm going to be lit. And that's another thing as well. Just because you know that the alcohol is going to get you drunk does not mean you should drink it. Like, I have been drinking for a while now and even me i was not prepared for the wave that was about to crash inside my chest so obviously now we get to the house now the bottle of glens is about probably like the size of this got to be glue can and i drunk up to like there so halfway of this got to be glue can yeah we're gonna picture this is glens halfway through to this i had drunk two shots of vodka straight mostly i had a little bit of pineapple juice for mixer but most of it was straight now i'm nearly finished i'm feeling it the wave is kicking in i'm saying yeah me i'm gone me i can't see me the wave has come and consumed me so we start walking outside now <laughs> if you if you've been drunk yet, you know that as soon as you walk outside the cold air, like when it hits you, like the wave instantly kicks in. I'm talking, <laughs> I was finished. I was finished. And my cousin, she's got Chardonnay now. And she's like, oh, do you want to drink the rest of my Chardonnay? And here's me, yeah, I'll back it. Mistake number one, you should not be mixing clear spirits such as Glenn's Vodka with Chardonnay that is a good probably 15%. I, my blood inside of me started to feel thick. I don't know if the stream inside of me, I felt so heavy. When we get to the cocktail place like in Croydon 
and the man wouldn't let me in because he said that I look too drunk. And I'm arguing with the man saying, I'm not too drunk, like, I'm fine, I'm fine, can't you see, I'm fine, da, da, da. And I'm saying, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. And the man's not letting me in. So I started getting upset, so I went round the corner and I sat down and I was like, well, he's not letting me in, so I'm going home. I'm going home because he's not letting me in. I was getting so angry. I was getting so angry. You guys would not believe how angry I was getting. So I was like, nah, I'm not going home. This man's taking the piss. He doesn't know me. He doesn't know me. He doesn't know me. Too close to me. Why? Do I know you? <laughs> Do I fucking know you? Why? Why? We walked to Turtle Bay. Now, Turtle Bay, the security guard let me in only because he thought I was nice. So I'm a bit of an uncle magnet, you know, tit girls were uncle magnets. So he just let me in. So I said, cool. Then I order <laughs> me. I can't even remember the name of the cocktail. What I know is it had Ray and nephews inside. So at this point, guys, I had already drunk Chard Glenn's vodka, Chardonnay. Yeah. And now I'm drinking Ray and nephews in a cocktail. So at this point, I'm at the maximum peak level of drunkness that you could possibly be. But um, somehow we walked to the club and I still got in. Now, don't ask me how I got into this club, but me, I got in. So we walk into the club now. I'm having a great time. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just feeling a bit drunk. I was like, oh, abs, abs, abs. I'm going to go to the toilet quick. I'm going to the toilet. I walk into the toilet. The auntie's looking at me weird. I'm just looking at her like, yes. So I go into the cubicle. I sit down, go to the toilet. I start blinking. And the whole cubicle is now turning like this. The whole cubicle is turning. So all I remember is closing my eyes for a second. I said, I'm going to nap for a second. I woke up. I was on the toilet floor. This was 10 minutes later. On the cubicle floor. My cousin comes in to look at me saying, Jamelia, I'm saying, Abby, girl, I don't feel well. I then throw up in the toilet in the club. I then throw up and pass out. Now, at this point, I wake up 10 minutes later. The security guards of the club banging, 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 banging on the door. Saying, you got to get up, you got to get up, you got to get moving, sorry. We need to get you out of there. We need to get you out of there. My foot is jammed under the door here. Yeah? And I can't move because I'm literally, my whole body can't move. Like, I can't feel anything. Like, And the security man's trying to smash the door open and I'm saying it's hurting me and he couldn't smash it open because the way that my foot was jammed, if he smashed the door open, he was gonna break my ankle. So they had to, the security man had to come in the next cubicle and jump over the cubicle. <laughs> he had to jump over the cubicle and come inside to come and get me. So at this point, I'm finished. Like, he's trying to drag me up, but me, I'm heavy. Biggie, biggie, heavy, heavy. Me had to drag me, like, his whole force had to come in. Force. I'm saying, you're hurting me, you're hurting me. Just a shot in the background. Help, help. He was like, stop hurting her, stop hurting her. I did a degree in law. I'll sue this whole club. So I'm like, oh, let me lower, let me lower. So obviously, I get up now. They can, they open the door. They carry me out of the club. This is where things got messy. I'm sitting on the bench. I'm saying, I feel sick. I feel sick. I'm swaying back and forth. This is when I started to projectile vomit on the streets of Croydon. Croydon, where I could see anybody I know. So, for some reason, my head's feeling hot. Like, and my hair's in my way. So I decide to take off my wig my bob wig this is the important part i just had to take off my wig like this and put it next to me on the bench so i'm now sitting in cambrose on the street <laughs> i can't even believe i'm saying this out loud i'm now sitting with cambrose in my head on the street i'm sitting with cambrose in my head and i'm vomiting and there's vomit on myself and I have a bottle of water in my hand. And my, yeah, my god sister books me Uber. About three, four of them have basically cancelled on me. But one let me in. So I get up and say, oh yeah, I just need to get in the cab. I need to get in the cab. I leave my wig 
on the bench. And bear in mind, my girl at this point, she's drunk as well. I left my wig on... Yeah, I left my wig on the seat. So obviously now, I've gotten in the cab. I've come home. I've said to my girl sister, find my wig, find my wig. She said she's gone back to go and find it. It's not there. But she's drunk as well. So she's gone into the club, but I've actually left it on the bench, but she hasn't realised. So obviously now, my wig's on the bench. I'm in the cab on the way home. Nobody's with the wig. And at this point, I'm not deep in that the wig's gone until my mum's like, I wake up the next morning at like 9, 10. I said, mum, where's my wig? She said, you didn't come home with one. I said, there was no wig on your head. I said, oh. <coughs> there was no wig on my what? Guys, this was a really shameful day. It's the fact that I called up the club the next day and said, did you see a wig on the bench? They said, yeah, we saw a wig, but it's gone now. So my precious Bob wig, the famous wig, that basically defines who I am. And everybody knows and loves that wig. You all know what wig I'm talking about. I don't even have to talk too much. We just all know what wig I'm talking about, okay? My wig was is gone forever now, guys. Either someone stole my wig... It's in the bin, or I don't know. All I know is the wig is gone forever, and with the wig went a piece of me, okay? I lost my wig. The moral of the story, of the story time. Number one, don't mix alcohol, because you're not ready, sweetie, okay? Because I was not ready, okay? I was not ready. I'm not a champion. I thought I was a champion. I'm not a champion. I should never lie to myself again. So, don't mix alcohol. Never ever take off your wig. Never ever 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 take off your... You could be dying, you better make sure the hair's in your mouth before you take it off. You better make sure the hair's in your shirt. If you want to take off your wig, put it in your shirt. Put it in your top. Because you'll lose that wig forever, babe. Always make sure you go out with people who have your best interest at heart. Thank God. Yeah, for my god sister, literally. Because if I wasn't with her, I don't know what I would have done. She literally took care of me to think she was drunk herself. She took care of me. She made sure I was okay. She didn't leave me there. She did, She made sure I, my breasts weren't exposed to the public, to the wind. She made sure that I was okay. That's the messiest night I ever had and I'll never, ever get that drunk. That was it for today. Thank you for watching my channel yet again. I'm going to try and do more story times for you guys because I've actually lived a bit of a crazy life. Some things I can't talk about. But I've lived a crazy life, so I'm just going to keep the ball rolling, really. So like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Yeah,